Hey Barb's welcome back. She said she ready for love. She done with that bullshit. She said ain't no pulling up. Meet her at the pulpit. She ain't tryna play no games. She think all niggas the same. And if you not on that forever shit, you can stay in your lane. I'm wondering why, why, why? So today I'm gonna do a get ready with me. Um, a few of y'all have been asking me for makeup videos. I know it's been quite a while since I did one. So we're gonna do makeup, get ready with me. So we're gonna do makeup, hair, and outfit, and fragrance of the day. Now I did get this from Dossier's Perfume. I want to give a big shout out and thank you to them for sending this over for a review. Now, most of my girls already know I work with Dossier Perfume. If you're new to the channel and you've never heard of them, I will give you a very quick breakdown of what who they are so dossier is a perfume and cologne company that specializes in making inspired by perfumes at a much more affordable cost so all your luxury perfumes that you can find at sephora and all these luxury stores that are three hundred dollars two hundred dollars a hundred dollars um dossier has those same exact scents for a fraction of the price. I'm not talking half, I'm talking girl cheap, okay? <laughs> so I absolutely love that and um, they do often have sales. They do run sales all the time. So the more you purchase, the more you save. So if you buy one bottle, you can use my discount code, which is plus size Barbie 10. I will leave it on the screen. That will save you 10%. Now, if you go and buy two or three bottles, you will save more. On top of that, you can still use my discount code, girl. Okay? But I believe the most um, savings that you get is when you buy five bottles, you save the most. So, just keep in mind, girl, the more, the more you spend, the more you save. Now, now, when I say that they make um, the same sense, says I kid you not, they are the same exact sense because I have a lot of the original sense, and then I will have Dossier send me over their inspired by sense. And when I tell you, you cannot tell the difference at all. Okay, I recently gifted my cousin a bottle um, that I really did not care for, or I just I never really reached for it, and um, she had the original, or she smelt the original when her friends had it, and she said it smells spot on. So when I tell you, it's not just me; it's a lot of people that that say they smell from those here. So this one is Floral Marshmallow. It is inspired by Killian Love Don't Be Shy. It is a Oude Parfum. It is, uh, the concentration is 18%. Top notes are Marshmallow, Neroli, Bergamot. Middle notes are Orange Blossom, Honeysuckle, Jasmine, or as base notes are Amber, Vanilla, and Musk. Okay, so this is the card that comes in it, and it has all the notes, what it's inspired by, the concentration, and it lets you know how it works, okay? You will get one of these cards in any perfume or cologne that you have. So this is going to be my scent for today. Oh, this smells absolutely marvelous, absolutely amazing. And then the next one that I have here is a woody green apple. See how it smells. Oh my God. This smells absolutely amazing. This one is inspired by Paca Raban One Million. Um, this just smells absolutely marvelous. Like, yeah, I will spray this on me. If they have the lady million. I've been wanting to try that. I'm gonna stay here, Dosier. So that is this. You guys definitely make sure to check out Dosier perfume and cologne. Okay, 
I highly, highly, highly recommend them. And it's not just because they send me items, you guys. I literally shop with them. I literally spend my coin with them. I love them, okay? I say this all the time. If you know, you know. If you haven't tried them, bro, you're sleeping under a rock and you're crazy, okay? You've been sleeping under a rock and you need to go try them fast, okay? And with that being said, I also do have a giveaway. I do want to give one of my girls um, a Dosi Air scent. And the one that I want to give is um, Fruity Orange, and it is from Clinique. So, this is a brand new bottle, okay? So, I do want to give this to one of my girls along with this Press On Nail Set, you guys. Okay. Um, you must be following me on Instagram. And you must be subscribed to me. Uh, subscribe. You must be subscribed to the channel. You must watch this video in full. And smash that like button for your girl, okay? And comment down below how you found my channel. And how long you've been subscribed to me, okay? First three people that comment that. Um, comment down below. And I will announce the winner. Um and comment down below and um leave your instagram handle so therefore i can contact you to um you know let you know that you are a winner if you do not have instagram girl it's time for you to join us over on instagram go ahead and make your instagram account girl it's not that hard if you don't have one, make you one. Because this is not the only giveaway. I'm about to come through. I've been saying that I've been wanting to do a giveaway. Um, I'm about to come through back to back with giveaways because I need a few winners, okay? I don't want just one person. I got so many girls, but unfortunately, I don't have something to give every single person. But I definitely am going to come back with a couple more giveaways. So definitely be on the lookout for that and be watching the full videos, you guys, okay? So yeah, comment down below how you found me and how long you've been subscribed to the channel, okay? And girl, y'all know that we can see if you're subscribed to the channel and we can see when you subscribe to the channel. So don't try to put a little quick one, all right, girl? Alright, so yeah. I can't wait to ship this off to the lucky winner. I hope you really, really love it, girl. So yeah, moving on to this makeup girl. I already did my hair. But makeup outfit and fragrance of the day. I already did my hair. I was gonna do it on camera, but I'm like I didn't really think y'all would want to see me do my hair, but if you do, comment down below, and next time I do a get ready with me, then I will do my hair on camera. It's just like, I already do so many wig reviews, so it's like, I didn't think y'all would want to see that. But I'm going to start off by moisturizing my face, and this is a new moisturizer I've been using. Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Clean. I had got a sample from Sephora. Sephora has sent me like a little sample. Matter of fact, I need to use it on my sample. And they have sent me like a little sample. And I liked it. And I have been looking for a new uh, moisturizer for my face. Need a good under eye one too. And I just liked how it did, and it didn't break me out because I have very, very sensitive skin when it comes to my face. And um, break out over everything, like literally any kind of um, like oil or whatever. I have to be really careful what I put on my face because any kind of like oil or whatever and a lot of like lotions and moisturizers, they would cause me to get breakouts and then... I'll be picking up my face and you see the little dark spots. So have like um acne scars and stuff like that. Use a hundred percent pure arnica oil. Okay, hundred percent pure. 
I'm telling you, if you have like bruises from ch your childhood or whatever, girl, it will get rid of it all. But you have to use it every day for like a week or two and girl, it'll be gone. Every day, two, three times a day, it'll be gone in like a week, I promise you. If not a week, oh, full two weeks. As long as you're um, consistent with it. So, yeah. So, I moisturized my face and I'm going to go in with my um, primer. But I'm about to clean up my eyebrows a little bit. Because they're looking a little, a little rough. Gotta be careful because this is a new shaver and it's super sharp. So I got the shaver off Amazon. Amazon is my store where I buy all uh, my stuff from. And it came in a pack of nine. And I think it was $10. And these are so much better than the ones that you get from the beauty supply store or um, I think even Dollar Tree sells them now. But they're so much better than those. These are so sharp. And they don't do it down like the other ones. I even use this for a um, thermal plate in my face. Which I try to do like once a month or once every two or three months. Really. A lot of times I don't do it once a month. But when I get real... Well, I see a lot of peach fuzz on my face. I try to do it. I think I took a little bit too much hair off. But I noticed my eyebrows always come out perfect when I um when I freshly clean them up, they come out. To do my eyebrows before my makeup, I used to always do my makeup first, but it be like kind of um, hard to draw them on with foundation and stuff on. And, uh, you know, the moisturizers, primer and all that. My LA Girl Concealer, I have a bunch of different shades. Or I use my, um, Born This Way Concealer. The LA Girl is just, it's thicker than any other concealer that I have. Um, like I said, it don't matter if you're using drugstore or high-end. You can still get a good look with either one of them. Okay, girl? Like, don't think because you watch an influencer and they're using a $50 foundation or a $60 or $80 foundation. You gotta go run out and get that. Girl, live within your means. If you can only afford the $10 or $20 foundation, girl, get that. You'll still look good. I'm applying it with a very flat, rounded kind of brush. You just want to get something that's super, super flat or make it as flat as possible. And I got this from AliExpress. I actually need to order some more of these because these are the best concealer brushes I've ever had. I like to go on with my concealer on the bottom and my foundation on the top so I don't have that like halo highlighted look. I usually don't like that, but sometimes I be weird and I go in on top with the concealer because I do kind of want the look. But yeah, when I, I normally don't like it and I'll just go in with my foundation unless I'm being This is my Born This Way um, foundation. Okay, the concealer, the shade was maple and the foundation, the shade is Cocoa.
And with my Scentsy uh, Beauty Primer, this is the Soft Silk Primer. For my eyeshadow, I got this infallible. I'm not sure if y'all can see it. It's infallible. I think it's L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Eyeshadow, and I have the shade 892 Amber Rush of these little eyeshadows because they're so creamy. Yeah, it is L'Oreal Paris. They're so like creamy and buttery to put on. It's like as if you would wet your normal eyeshadow shadow, shadow, shadow and put it on it just goes on so smooth I love that look at that Okay, I'm about to go in with a dark brown shade in my crease. I usually do this first and then um, go in with my, my shimmer shade on my lid. But doing stuff for this today.
I'm going in with my Laura Mercier setting powder under my eye to set my concealer. Well, all over my face where I put concealer, except my nose, I put a white concealer on my nose because I want a super highlighted contour look for my nose. And I have a lot of fine lines under my eye. So I make sure to, before I set it, to just blend it out one more time so that the um, concealer is not creasing. And I'm just going in with the dark eyeshadow to conceal my nose. And I promise, I swear to you, I do not know why I grabbed my Jackie Aina palette. And I went in with the darkest shade credit to start contouring my nose. I've never done this. I usually go in with my Morphe um, palette, contour palette, and do this. I actually like this better because the Morphe one is a little bit too um, dark. And I like to bring it in to my, um, my eyeshadow. just go in with my powder brush so it tones that white cast all the way down. So I'm about to put my lashes on. This is the lash glue that I use. Lash glue, and I used to pick it up from the beauty supply store, but I ordered it off of Amazon. I ordered like a five or six pack off of Amazon, and girl, I've been good to go. This is my favorite lash glue, and the only one that I've been using for very long time. So going with my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. Melt that makeup on into my skin. I need to put on a little mascara first. I don't know where my other mascara that I always use. So I'm using this Hourglass. I think this is from MAC. They sent it with my foundation I had ordered a while ago. And when I can't find my normal one, I just go ahead and use this. 
I will say when you put on mascara and then lashes, girl, your lashes will be stuck all night. They ain't gonna live. You know how sometimes if you don't put them on good, like they be lifting in the corner and stuff, girl. Now with mascara, they gonna stay on. Okay, so what I do, I put my lash glue on my lashes and I let it dry down a lot so it gets really, really tacky. That way it's easy to put on and it doesn't make a mess and it doesn't move. And I get my mirror. I have a double-sided mirror. So if you're a beginner, use the magnifying side so that you can see really good and I stick it right on top, okay? You can start with the inner or the outer and you adjust it. That be the thing, I be letting it dry down so much, sometimes I be letting it get too dry and I have to go in and add or let it get tacky. I just let it sit for like a minute or so. And it get tacky. Okay. Oh. One of my good sis asked me, how do I do my lashes? So, I just let it dry down and then I take my tweezers and I stick it on. And I adjust it how I like it. I like to put it right on my lashes. And then I take the inner and I stick it right on, okay? And then I pinch them down together. My lash and the fake lash. And that's all I do, girl. I hope that helped you. I really hope it helped you because, girl, I'm not good with, you know, Explain, but for me, what really helped me in the beginning, like putting on lashes, was letting the glue dry down. And what I would do, so I didn't make a mess on my, um, you know, because uh, sometimes when you're, what I would do, because sometimes you would um, put way too much glue on your lashes, I would take my tweezers and I'll put a little bit of glue on the tip of my tweezers or even take like a like let me see like I got the sheen card right I'll put glue on a sheen card and then I'll just take the tip of my tweezers okay I got a little bit of glue on there and I'll just run it across my lashes and if you need more just go back in pick up more and run it across the lash so that way you're not putting too much glue you're not making a mess let it dry down for about 45 seconds to one minute I like mine to get really really tacky because it's so easy to put it on it doesn't make a mess, it sticks right away. When it's too wet, you have to keep moving around, it falls off, it gets glue all over your eye, you be sticking your eyes together, it's just a mess. So for me, starting off, that's what really helped me because it was like, girl, it was a mess. It was glue everywhere, it was like I was gluing my eyes shut, it was getting all in my eyes, my eyes were burning, then I was just like, you know what, I cannot do this at all. But then the individual ones, if I would go and get them done, they will pull out all my lashes. So I was like, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so yeah, let it dry down a lot, okay? Go ahead and stick it on there. See, this one is still a little too wet for me, but it's cool. And then you just adjust it how you want it on there. I like to stick my on my actual lashes. And see, when it's a little wet, I get a little glue residue on the bottom. And that's what I don't really like. Okay, and then I like to pinch them together. 
like the pinky my lash and the fake lash together so they blend so I'm gonna go in with my fancy pressed powder my foundation powder, and I use that to set my whole face and I'm in the shade 430 to go around my neck because I don't like that greasy kind of look that your neck can get. Mm, I hate that. I absolutely hate it. So I definitely make sure to go around. And turn my flat iron back on because I'm going to run it through my hair really quickly. I'm going in with my NYX um, Butter Gloss and this is in the shade Peaches and Cream. And then I'm going over it with my Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss. All right, you guys, so y'all see the makeup is beat. Hair is slayed, okay? And this is the outfit. Super freaking cute. Ow. So that is it for the video. If you did enjoy it or if you want more Get Ready With Me, if you want to see more Get Ready With Me videos, definitely smash that like button comment down below and let me know okay flood me with some red and blue hearts in the comment section down below thank you for watching again make sure y'all smash that like button if you're new to the channel smash that subscribe button and join the family into the next video which will be very very soon Patience, she be like, bye, bye, bye. And I know she don't think twice. If it's something she don't like, she gon' let you know about it. She